Hey Flight Simmers, it's Sizzling Popcorn. Yesterday's Sim Update 7, also known as Game of the Year Edition, brought a lot of new and free stuff to Microsoft Flight Simulator. In addition to this, the Reno Air Races expansion was introduced as the first payware expansion for Masobo. In this video, we'll take a look at how you get the Reno Air Races, what do you get, what are your options, and best of all, is it really worth it? First off, you'll want to click on Activities and move all the way to the right to access Reno Air Races. There you'll be faced with the biggest decision of your life. Do you buy the full collection of 40 aircraft? This is your conscious talking to you. Don't do it. Or do you buy the base pack with four aircraft, one from each class? In addition, you can visit the marketplace to buy additional aircraft or even full classes of 10 aircraft. The 10 aircraft in each class are the same plane, but decorated differently on the inside and out. There may be some raw performance enhancements, but that only matters if you're doing time trials. If all you want to do is race in multiplayer, performance is standardized so you don't have to worry about which aircraft variant is the quickest. Each aircraft has 6 to 10 color variants, so everyone isn't in the same color of plane. Yes, you can use the aircraft to fly around outside of the Reno Air races, even if you just get the base expansion pack of 4 aircraft, one from each class. But not all cockpit buttons function as we will see here in the Mustang. Let's head back to the Reno Air Races. When you start the expansion pack, you have the option to read the rules, race, or view the leaderboards. When you choose to race, you'll have the choice of time trials or multiplayer quick match racing. There is no AI racing, nor is there a private matchmaking system. It takes about 2-3 minutes before it finds a race for you. Then the lobby is open for another 1-2 to two minutes until everybody clicks on ready to fly at which point the timer will speed up. Each lobby can hold a maximum of 8 pilots, with 2 being the minimum for a race. You'll do a 1 lap qualifier to determine your starting position. The race will then be 6 to 8 laps in length, depending on which class you're racing in. You'll never race with more than one class at a time. The Unlimited and Jet classes uses the biggest oval track, while the T6 has a smaller course. The biplanes have the shortest track of them all. You'll want to make sure that you don't fly too high, cut the track, or crash, as you'll lose time and or get penalized. At the end of the race, you'll find out in the results if your Reno score increased or decreased. It starts at 8,000, which is a combination of a 2,000 score from each class. This will determine which lobby you'll be racing in. So let's get to the point here. Is it really worth it? I know it's been about 24 hours since its release, and yes, there are some bugs, but I'm confident that a solo will resolve them in due time. Putting all bugs aside, I'm not convinced on buying the full collection of 40 aircraft. There's absolutely no additional benefit of getting them other than for the time trials and wanting to fly that specific plane such as the uh, 6 cat. Yes, there is replayability as each race will have different weather and winds. You can also fly the plane outside of the Reno Air races. I personally have never watched the races. I did try to watch on YouTube this summer, but the broadcast was uh, quite boring. I bet it's quite exciting to watch in person. That said, I was looking forward to the racing aspect of this DLC, and not so much about flying the planes in the simulator, as the cockpits aren't fully functioning. I'm disappointed in the variety of tracks, but on the other hand, I thought the still National Championship Air Races was a series, such as like the NASCAR Cup Series, but it's not. It's a multi-day tournament event of qualifying and peat races, with a final race in each of the six classes of aircraft, of which the Formula 1 and Sport classes are not included in this DLC. I understand this is now a platform that Microsoft and Asobo could build upon, 
Two game modes that would be great with this expansion is private matchmaking, which they're looking to implement, however there's no timeline yet. The other being tournament mode with AI or multiplayer to simulate the qualifying heat races and finals. It would be nice to see this expanded into other air racing, whether or not it be based off of a real series or event, because left turning all the time on three tracks might be great for the first weekend, but gets boring quite quickly. Most of NASCAR's tracks are left turns only, but it grids 40 cars, and a lot of people watch it for the crashes. One last thing to mention is that I was disappointed with the number of aircraft showing up in the lobby. I understand it's the first 24 hours, however, racing with only one or two opponents isn't as fun as five to seven others. Overall, if you choose to get the Reno Air Races, don't buy the full collection. Get the base and see if you enjoy it. If you want to collect a specific plane or two, pick them up in the marketplace. The only time you'd want to get the complete collection is if you want four to five specific planes as it would be more economical. But also, why do you want to buy an additional four or five planes when their performance is all standardized in the quick match mode? Well, let me know in the comment section below. Have you purchased the Reno Air Races? What are your thoughts? What would you like to see added? Well, that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching and happy flying.